like pretty much all animals for the last 500 million years or so, dinosaurs reproduced sexually, which means they must have had sex. They may have shook the earth with their footsteps, but did they make the bedrock? Just how did they do it? Normally, when an animal like a dinosaur dies, all of the soft tissues decompose, leaving only the skeleton to be fossilised, which means that there's very little real fossil evidence of dino's soft parts, including their sexual organs. Instead, scientists try to figure out what their parts looked like and how they worked by looking at dinosaurs' living relatives, crocodiles and birds. Hundreds of different species of dinosaurs lived on Earth for more than 150 million years, which was plenty of time for experimentation. And it's likely that their genitals actually varied massively. But there are probably some similarities. Neither birds or crocodiles have external penises. Instead, all of their apparatus is hidden inside an all-purpose slit called the cloaca. And comparison with some of the earliest species that survived today suggests that male dinosaurs' appendages were, sadly, relatively small. That would have meant that the two dinos would have had to have got up very close and personal to press their cloacas together in what's known as a cloacal kiss. Given four legs and a tail, you're limited in the number of positions that will get those cloacas next to each other. Small dinosaurs probably went for a position much like modern crocs. The female crouches down, flicks her tail to the side, while the male mounts from behind, throwing one leg over to twist his underbelly towards her. The move works well when you're used to having all four feet on the ground, but bipedal dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus rex or the ostrich-like Struthiomimus would have faced even more of a challenge to balance and coordinate. T-Rex could have found a use for its diminutive arms in hanging on, but most probably took the easy way out and just sat down. If that sounds tricky, spare a thought for the dinosaur giants, weighing several tons and equipped with tough armour and deadly weapons all over their body. The Kentrosaurus, for instance, has terrifying spines along its back and tail. Scientists have actually run computer simulations and showed that if they tried to mate in the normal way for birds and beasts, then they'd end up castrating themselves, which sort of defeats the object. So the Kentrosaurus Kama Sutra might have been a bit more varied. Missionary? Rear to rear? There may have been a way that involved the female lying down on the side, but the margin for catastrophic error would have still been very small. But lovemaking could be a challenge, even without the terrifying bodily weapons. Giant sauropods could weigh up to 80 tonnes, and if a male mounted a female, she'd have to bear a big proportion of both of their weights. Some researchers thought that the females wouldn't have been strong enough, so they would have had to get it on in shallow water, where buoyancy would have reduced their combined weight. But this does seem pretty unlikely, and since her sturdy legs could support her when walking, it's likely they would have been strong enough to withstand the extra load. However, he'd have to adapt an oblique stance to manoeuvre past her thick, muscular tail. Precarious indeed. So that is how dinosaurs have sex. Very, very carefully. The truth is, we may never really know, but there's no harm in guessing. If this dino video rocked your world, be sure to check out our other big dino questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Earth Unplugged.